let me show you a lifetime deal that's going to interest you if you want to rank on search engines. It's called Altex AI. And what it's going to do is going to generate the Altex description for your images. That means that when someone is searching on Google or Bing for a similar description as your image, your image is going to pop up and in return, that person might visit your website. So that means better ranking for your site. So let me show you how right now. It's a lifetime deal that starts off at $29. So that means that you pay once and use it forever. But in case you just don't like this deal, you test it out. You got a 60 day money back guarantee. So just go ahead and refund it in case you don't like it. Now, what you're going to get for that, let me go ahead and show you. So these are the plans that are available. So there's the three licensed tiers and there's the first one, which is $29. You get 150 image credits per month. Now that's more than enough for people who own one or two sites and don't have a lot of movements. Basically people who don't automate the site and do automatic posts, you're good to go with that. There's license tier two, which is $89 and license tier three, which is $229 for 2000 images. Now that's more for people who have a lot of images who upload sites, uh, blogs constantly, um, work with clients, etc. That would be the choice for you. But if not $29 is more than enough. Now, how does it actually work? This is my dashboard for my Altex AI. Basically it's telling me what I have right now. Images in my library processed in the last 30 days and my plan usage. Now I'm in the 2000 credit plan limit, but in this case, I'm using this demo account to show you. Now I have a coffee shop where I am doing images, etc., and I'm uploading them to my site. And what I want to do is obviously pop up when someone is searching a coffee shop, if they're looking for a mocha, if they're looking for a mocha latte, et cetera. And this is going to generate the alt text for these images automatically. How does that work? Well, there's a plugin for alt text AI, which lets you integrate really easily with WordPress, which I have installed right here. And once you install it, you have your basic settings right here. So basically add your API key, which is found over here on your account and just add the API key and you're good to go. Now you have the option to select different languages. So it is available on several languages. Whoops it by mistake. There's several languages available. So in case it's not in English, you go ahead and select the one that you want to use. I'll select English right now because I want to show you a demo test when I upload an images. Yes, it can automatically add the alt text as soon as the image is uploaded or you can set it to off. Now there's a few settings here. When alt text is generated for an image, also set the image title for the image generated. Yes, the caption and the description. So we want all three. You can go ahead and select all of these. If not, go ahead and remove the one you don't want generated. Then when new images are added, yes, in my case, that would be my, my, my recommendation. So if this, as soon as the image is uploaded, generate that description for it. Okay. Images type. So if you want to set the image types that you want to generate the alt text for, so maybe you don't want to do it for WebP, well, you can go ahead and remove those maybe only for PNG and not for JPEG, etc. You can filter those out. If you want to generate it for all of them, just go ahead and leave this blank. SEO keywords, you can go ahead and enable this. Use post title as keywords if the SEO keywords not found from the plugin. So you can enable that and you got your public site, which is leave that as it is. Go ahead and save it. So like I said, I change it to English right now. And if I go to media, let me show you this one that I've generated already. This one's in Spanish. So this was done automatically. I uploaded a menu and it automatically generated this for me in Spanish. Okay. So let me go ahead and add a new one. Let me go ahead and select the file. And I'll select this image. So it's a coffee shop with some background there. And let's see what the AI is going to generate for us. Now, if I had to do this manually, it, may, it might be really time consuming, especially if you're doing this on autopilot. So if you have an automatic plugin that's automatically generating posts, you definitely don't want to do descriptions and all text manually. It'll take you tons of hours. Or maybe you have a site that already has thousands of images and you don't want to do that manually. This would be a great fit. Okay. So the image has been uploaded. Let's go ahead and edit this just so we can see what it generated. Let's go down here. You can see a man behind the chalkboard in the coffee shop. So you can see that there. It generated it automatically. Now, for some reason, it di didn't generate the alt, alt text right here, the alternative text. Let's go ahead and update the alt text right here. If you don't like what it generated, you can go ahead and redo it again. So it did do it now, right? So that was a bit a little bug. That's what I would think because it hasn't done that in the other images that I've uploaded. So again, let's go ahead and update it again in case it changes it. There we go. Yeah, it did change it a bit, not much, but it knows it's a coffee shop. He knows it's a chalkboard on the, on the wall right here. You can see that there are the images and this did it automatically. I mean, it knows it has to do with coffee, even though you don't see coffee beans right here, you kind of see over here, it says 
offy you kind of see that there you can see this coffee machine here and kind of the words right there okay so it does it automatically via ai basically i think that is fantastic that it can do it automatically with this plugin so it's definitely a buy for me if you want to do this automatically and you don't want to do the alt text manually then it's a great option now in terms of pricing and the license tier i think they are the limits are kind of in the low end so it's it gets kind of expensive once you go to 2000 images per month with this price so if you don't need as much i recommend you grab something lower now this might not be enough but it's up to you what you're going to need but if you ask me the tool does what it has to do using ai automatically without having for me do it manually so if you want to check it out link we provided in the description and that's a wrap for all text